Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and I am so excited for today's video. It's not like anything I've ever done before. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a blend. It's still bookish inspired, but not only about books. So recently I've been thinking a lot about like updating my wardrobe and kind of going through and getting rid of things and then buying new items and I just was thinking about how I, I've seen a lot of good book merch recently. I've been following a lot of shops on Instagram that have bookish themed sweatshirts and hats and t-shirts, sweatpants, all that jazz and it just made me think about the clothing that different readers wear. And so I decided to come up with different outfits in my closet uh, for different genres. And it's not like what I think other people wear, but like what a typical like romance reader would wear or a typical like thriller reader would wear. So it's just an all fun and games. It's just an outfit to match the vibe of the genre. Obviously, this does not actually apply to a bunch of people. I just thought it'd be a fun video concept to do. Let me know if you like it down below. I can always do more genres and do more of this video if you end up liking it. But yeah, let's get right into it. So for manga and really graphic novels, I like to wear a lot of colorful things, especially for manga. I love to wear anything anime themed, so I have my Uraraka sweatshirt from My Hero Academia, which is a manga and an anime that I love. And here I am holding Horamiya, another manga that I love that has been turned into an anime. But yeah, anything comfy, just black leggings, anything anime themed or with bright colors to just kind of get me in the mood for manga. Next up is fantasy. So I'm wearing just simple black jeans and then a cropped dark red top with a little choke, not quite a choker necklace, but a really cool looking necklace that was given as a gift. And I feel like with fantasy, I always try to go for like badass female main character vibes a lot of times but it also really just depends on the fantasy that I'm reading. I feel like you could go so many different ways with just depending on the fantasy that you are reading. With this I could also pair either my leather jacket or a tight black sweater that I have to go over top of it and a lot of times I'll pair black tall heels as well. So anything dark and badass for fantasy. Moving on is historical fiction, and this is definitely a very different style. As you can see, I've got these old-fashioned heels, long blue skirt with buttons, and then just a white collared shirt with a typewriter letter B necklace. So this is such a different vibe, but I have quite a few items like this in my closet of just looking vintage, looking historical, looking timeless, and so it really fits with the Prisoner's Wife, which is a World War II story, but, but historical fiction is definitely a unique style for a unique genre of book, and I think these pair so well together, and I always have to wear something like this when I read historical fiction. Moving on, we have mystery slash dark academia. I don't read a lot of mystery, so this is also for dark academia. Like I mentioned earlier, I've got these big black boots, black tights, this very academia style skirt that I recently got. It's just like a plaid black and white, and then paired with a simple black turtleneck. This outfit too is darker, but not in the same way fantasy was. This is definitely much more of an academia style, which I think obviously fits dark academia, but could also fit a lot of mysteries, especially YA mysteries that do take place in an academic setting. So here I'm holding up a deadly education. It is kind of a dark academia, but I also feel like this outfit is very lesson in vengeance vibes by Victoria Lee as well. Then I have romance, which is also very different. So I feel like romance readers are all about being comfy yet cute. So I've got black leggings, I've got a light pink shirt, 
that says never too old for fairy tales and i've got my favorite green sweater because i just want to be warm and comfortable and happy and i always feel like so many romance readers myself included have hair accessories like scrunchies or hair bows or just some little cute girly thing that we love to wear you know ribbons in our hair so anything that's comfy but also cute like you kind of try and then finally i have horror slash thriller i mostly read thrillers so again i've got my black leggings to be comfortable and just any sweatshirt because if i am reading thriller i need to be comfortable i need to be in a happy space i need to be in a warm space because thrillers can take a lot out of you so simple basic not trying to look cute and something that i can potentially hide in if need be Alright, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you comment down below letting me know and let me know if you want more. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to click subscribe. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday. And if you hit the bell, then you'll be notified right when I upload. Otherwise, all of my bookish social medias are linked down below. And I post reviews there. I follow back. I chat. We have fun. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Mm -hmm.